Hello, welcome to update era. We are today we are going to start training on Huawei Optics RT900 in which we will cover Huawei system hardware, Huawei configuration, Huawei RT900 operation and maintenance. We will start from RT900 V100 R00 one and we will go up to V100R005C01 in this one we are having different type of function different type of uh, different type of uh, RTNs so first uh, what is the optics RTN900 switch optics RTN900 switch a solution that can integrate the TDM hybrid and packet micro technology according to the networking scheme for the size RTA 900 V100 R001 supports packet microwave. The RTA 900 V100 R002 support TDM and hybrid microwave. The RTA 900 V100 R003 support hybrid and packet microwave. Then V100 R005 supports hybrid and packet microwave that features high integration and high performance with the low cost. And the upgraded one is the RTA 900 V100 R005C01 is available in two types that is RTA 950A and RTA 9051C. Earlier we don't have RTA 950A and RTA 9051C. In RTA 950A we don't have protection for the main switching card but main switching card having more functionalities than the RTA 950. Uh, like CSH card so uh, and same as RTA 9051C is having uh, more functionalities but a different card it's uh, not the same card used in the RTA 910 in the RTA 9051C types of RTA 900s as we already discussed according to the version we have different types of RTA RTN starting rollout from 910, 950, 980 and now we have more variety of RTN 900 series that is 950A, 980L and 9051C we will discuss that in later with the different versions. The optics RTN 900 provides several type of service interface and facilities installation and a flexible configuration the solution can evolve based on the service changes that occur due to radio mobile network evolution thus the solution can meet the transmission requirement of not only 2g 3g but also future lt and 4g networks this rt 900 is uh, developed uh, considering with the upgradation of the network like up uh, like now we are upgrading 3g in the 4g then if uh, in future we are roll, we are going to roll out 5g 5g as well then also we can use same equipment there is no need to there is no need to uh, roll out again the new features nothing we just need to upgrade the license then we can use according to the requirement so optics rtn 910 it's one u height and support one or two if boards if i am talking here about the one u height this is the mini uh, u is the measurement of transmission rate and the support 102 IF boards if we are uh, is this is the IF direction we can plug in two uh, cards in the RTN 910 if I am talking about the optics RTN 950 the audio ID of the optics RTN 950 is 2 u high and support 1 to 6 IF boards in optics RTN 980 is the 5 u high and support 1 to 14 IF boards 5U high meanings the requirement in the the space requirement in the transmission rate for the particular IDU cards. This is the simple example for the packet microwave transmission solution using the optics RTN 900. In this one we have, have we are having BSC RNC and then a small optics RTN 900 ring then it's the connecting to the sides hardware structure this is simply hardware structure for the uh, RTA 900 so one is the universal AOC that we can use for the IDU 910 IDU 950 no need to roll uh, no need to swap if 
we are swapping the IDU from 910 to 950 or 950 to 980 9, uh, and 910 whatever is there we can use this is the universal so universal AOC consisting of micro antenna and the ODU IDU, IDU 910 is there in IDU we will insert cards according to the requirement So till now we discuss about the different system hardware version of the RTN 910, 950 and 980 and uh, universal AOC then about the switching and cross connect capacity for the RTN 910, 950 and 980. Now in next we will discuss about the different cars, different switching cards and uh, fan board and the voltage requirement for the particular cars. Keep update subscribe my youtube channel for more updates regarding huawei rtm thanks for watching